Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, dog walking and housework, so again, excuse the state of the hair, and it's been raining, who'd have thought? So, what I thought I'd do for you today is a slight mixture of a couple of bits that I got for my birthday, um, not everything, but just, you know, some of the my favourite bits, and also a couple of Hermes items that I picked up whilst in Paris with Bestie Lorna. So, let's start. A couple of things I got for my birthday which I thought was worth sharing with you. I mean, I was, you know, spoilt by friends and family, so, you know, I have a few nice things, including some other, like, experiences on the way. But, firstly, a little more pink, actually. These are just a proper red, and these are a pair of leather gloves from Marks & Spencers, and these are part of, from the M&S Collection range, and... I'll show you them on. This is so small. I do struggle with gloves because my hands are small but I've got long fingers. Anyway, so there you can see them on. I like my leather gloves to have a nice tight fit and they'll probably give with use. But also, I don't know if you can see there and there, um, you've got these lines where the material changes slightly. These are also touch screen compatible. So, I thought, I'll put the link in the box below, I thought it was worth sharing those. Some very reasonably priced leather gloves compatible with touch screen. They come in other colours as well, but I really wanted a red pair. As you know, I like a little pop of colour, and I often wear my Burberry in the classic check, which has that little bit of red in it as well as the camel, so I thought I would go with red, so I wanted these. Also, jumper that I'm wearing. Uh, that is another Marks and Spencers special. It's really soft and really warm, so completely unplanned. Um, so that was really nice as well. Right. Now we go on to the luxury. So my husband very kindly got me something from the house of Louis Vuitton. I probably said that wrong, but excuse the French accent. I don't really have one. And. Although I did actually speak a little bit of French in Paris, and they understood me enough that I got myself the best ever raspberry tart from the bakery. Anyway, so I have unboxed this already because it was a birthday gift, but it came with obviously the receipt in the booklet, the little bit that you can put a message on the gift card too, but he didn't, but there was a message, when you order online, you can get a pre-printed message to come in the little booklet, so he'd done that, so that was lovely. And obviously, the blue ribbon. So that's the packaging. Now what's inside? So if we open up, I tried to open this as nicely as I could. It was quite nice that they, um, the tissue paper wasn't stuck down with the sticker so I didn't, get to, I didn't ruin the tissue paper. If we open it up, inside we have the Louis Vuitton Shawl, denim shawl in blue and you can see it's got different colours I'll get out and show you so you can see it's got the different colours that side and then more of a more of a sort of grey colour on the other side with the blue. So you've got blue with grey on one side. And it's quite a silvery grey as well, it's really nice. I really like that colour and it's pretty huge. So they're not cheap but you do get a lot of material for your money. Now if I just... I'll try and show you it on but obviously I'm wearing the wrong kind of neck with this jumper. And I'm doing this really badly because I'm sat down and not got a lot of room. Other than that it's perfect. And I'm on a wheelie chair so I keep moving. But we're just going to roughly do this and then I can just kind of, just to give you an idea of what it looks like on. So there we go. Um, I think really flattering colour as well. I think this will suit a lot of people, a lot of skin tones. Again, I'll put a link in the description box below if anyone's interested. But that's that. I'll leave it on for the rest of the video. So, in Paris, as well as buying goods from the bakery, I eat a lot, and macarons, 
I also went to Emmet's. I actually went to both Emmet's. Uh, well, there's three in Paris. Uh, one on St George, the Faubourg, Faubourg um, flagship store, and then there's another store, and I forget the road name, but it's down in the Saint Germain area, so it's the only one that's south of the river. Um, so we went to the main one on the first couple of days. By the way, we didn't get an appointment. We tried for a couple of days to try and get both of us to try and get an appointment at um, the flagship store um, to talk about handbags, but we didn't even get an appointment. So there we go. We both tried twice. And we got a very nice thank you but no thanks text and email. So double rejection. Anyway. Then on the, our third day in Paris, which was our last day on the Saturday, we popped to the Saint Germain store, which is amazing. Oh my God, you look at the, you look at the outside of the store and you think oh, it was just a normal shop. And then you go in and it opens out and it's just the most amazing um, store interior. I'll insert a picture here. And um, apparently what it used to be was a old swimming, it used to be a swimming pool and they converted it. I don't know when, um, but they're showing us the sales associates, they were showing us a load of the um, like black and white photos of when it used to be a swimming pool and pointing out, see we still got the tiling and this is the original mosaic tiling that I used for the floor. So that was pretty amazing. Also amazing in there, well, they were really, really friendly. All the staff were lovely and really helpful. I asked for a bag appointment whilst I looked at small leather good, and within five minutes had a bag appointment, which was amazing. Actually, the, the lady, I couldn't really call her a bag lady, but the lady who I needed the appointment with for bags actually came over whilst I was still with the lady looking at small leather goods, and I already knew what I wanted and what colour, so I wasn't long looking at small leather goods, so that's how quick it was. So that was really good. Didn't have any that I wanted, but at least I got a you know, seen to, so that was something. Um, also in the middle of the store, and this was like, blew my mind. Right in the middle of the store was actually an artisan who was part way through building a Kelly. Um, I think it was in the what colour sapphire. But I'll, um, again I'll insert a picture. And basically she was making, um, you know, actually making it there and then. She was telling us about the process. I was asking lots of questions because it's me, and uh, that was really, really interesting. Anyway, so well worth a visit if you go to Paris. That's all I'm going to say. Whilst in there, I bought this one leather good. So in the bag, and this is a true unboxing, I haven't opened this yet, we have the Hermes embossed receipt. So excuse, the lighting is going as ever. And I still don't have my ring light because I'm not up to 500 subscribers yet, so, you know. And this is, I basically got a card holder. It's, there's no great mystery. Who <laughs> dropped it? Um, there's no great mystery, and I'll share it with you in a moment. God, I got hot in the scarf. Um, but this is the Calvi card holder in the Chevron Mysore, which is a goat skin, and in the colour, I'm going to say Rose Etty. Um, and that is E, spelled E T E. Um, and if I just show you the. I'll show you the receipt there where, it, I don't know if you can see, that's the description there. So I was looking online and actually they, they had this colour available online as well. Because um, I wanted, we looked in the Falberg store before and they looked in, they had them, but not in the colour I wanted. I really wanted a pink one. I don't know why, I wanted a pink card holder. Anyway, let's unbox it. So I'm whittling on. Right. Here we go. Ribbon. Box. Love these boxes. Just we never tire of these boxes. Unfold the tissue paper. I have never, it's my first um Hermes. Oh, this is my second small leather good. I've got the Agenda, which my husband bought me for Christmas, but it's the first one I've bought myself. Look at the colour. There's another pinky one as well, which was called Flamingo, but that was more of a peach pink. This is like more of a, 
It's with a bubblegum pink. Anyway, I'll show you. So this isn't the goat. So they come, they you, they came slightly cheaper as well. I thought it was 285 euros. They came slightly cheaper in the different leather. They had the rose tomate, which was a different leather. I'm not sure what it was because I just it was nice. It's my second favorite. But I didn't want that. And they had that at both stores. So there it is, really plain. It's like that on both sides. And then it simply unpops, and then you've got room on that side, and then exactly the same on that side. And that's where you store cards. So for me, I'm going to have like payment cards on one side, and then any store cards on the other. And then you can also see there, I'll just show you some of you like to see this, where it says, if it will focus. Yeah, there you go. Hermes, and it says made in Hermes Paris and made in France. So that's it. Really, really simple. But I think that's what I loved about it was just, you know, you see the popper there, just the pure simplicity. And all you've got is just this beautiful, beautiful Hermes leather and in a gorgeous colour, which is, you know, what they're known for. So absolutely love that. I'm going to try using that next week as well. I'm trying to move away from just using um, full size purses because they do take up quite a lot of room. And sometimes, particularly with the walk I do for work, it's nice to have almost like a smaller, lighter bag. So you need smaller, lighter goods to go inside. Perfect excuse to buy them. So I'll pop that away. So in this bag, which again you can see is fairly light, so it's nothing that big and exciting, but it's exciting to me. So again, we have the receipt there, and I'll tell you in a moment what it is. Also came with a booklet here, you always get a little extra I find when you shop in Paris, um, little, well you may even London, I don't know, I don't buy that much Hermes, uh, unfortunately. Little booklet there, all about their scarves and you can see different scarves being worn in different ways so that came in and then and again another unboxing so no big surprise I bought myself another scarf so I bought one exactly this time last year in exactly the same store the flagship store in Paris and um, when I was at there for my birthday with my husband and it was I've done a video on it and you can scroll through and see that um, but it was like beautiful blues with a bit of pink and a bit of green and quite vibrant and I loved that but I, was, I wanted something different and I went in with the idea of getting something that was almost pastel pink and grey that was stay my hair that was the plan tried on those so helpful in there and quite patient with me anyway let's unbox it and I'll show you what I got oh it's not undoing There we go. Live unboxings never go well. At least I haven't got sellotape to contend with. It's usually where I struggle. Right. So there it is. Again, the gorgeous Hermes box. Lift the lid off. And oh, I just I've never noticed this before. Um it says a little, on the lid of the box, it's got some cleaning instructions there and it just says to clean your Hermes scarves, we advise you to have them dry cleaned and please remember that printed silk can be damaged by rain. So there we go. So, let's carry on shall we. So as you can see, it's not pink at all. I drawn on quite a few pink ones and I can't wear like pastel pink. It was awful when it was my friend's wedding one year and all the dresses in the shop, all the shops were like pastel pink. I can't wear pastel pink. It looks awful on me and really washes me out. So anyway, I tried this on. Um, it took a really bad photo so I won't share it. Um, and you can't really see. I tried this on and just loved it with this sort of grey, black and white with just a little bit of green. And it just looked gorgeous on. I'll, I'll show you. Um, but I'll just tell you what this one is called. Hopefully it's on the receipt. So this is the Carry Twills. This is a standard 90 by 90 silk scarf. It's 100% swai, 90 centimetre. Panoply Equestre in FG slash Blanc. And green. 
So, and the colour green is menthol. So yeah, so it's FG, Blanc, Gris and menthol. So, yeah. I will show you again what it actually... Hopefully it will focus. That's what it actually says. If I can find it on the website, because you can't find everything on the website that they have in store. If I can find it on the website, then of course I'll put a link to that below. Right, so I will show you. I won't put it on because I'm already wearing this one. But I will just, I'll, I'll will back. Whee! And there it is. There is the pattern. So quite Hermes. There was another one that I liked, which was, again, sort of like white, black and grey, with almost like a bit of like a dusky greyish but dark blue in it, which was nice and I loved the colours, but the design was um, just, to me, less so less, whereas this I felt was quite traditional with all the um, horse bits on. So, yeah, I got this one, I really liked it and didn't get a pink one. I then saw another one that was pink that I hadn't seen in the St. Germain store, that I hadn't seen in the flagship store, but I wasn't buying two scarves. So, you know, maybe at a future date I will get that one. So, that's what I wanted to share with you. As ever, if anyone's got any questions about any of the items, then feel free to ask. I will do my best to answer. I'm in no way an Hermes expert. I just like them and uh, really, really, really want a Kelly, but anyway, we'll see. Hopefully within the next decade, I will have a Kelly. Um, in the meantime, I think my next Hermes bag is probably going to be the garden party in size 30, which I tried to look at and tried on one that they had in St. Germain's store. Obviously I couldn't try it on the main flagship store because I couldn't get a bag appointment. Um, tried one on which is really nice. I'm 100% definite about the size of the 30 as opposed to the 36. Also called the TPM, the size 30. But um, the only one they had was a noir, black. <laughs> Look at me, your French. Ooh la la. And whilst it was lovely, and actually really went with the outfit that I had on. Again, really bad photo, but I'll insert it here. But for me, as I said earlier, the beauty in Hermes leathers is their colours and the vibrancy and it wasn't the colour that I wanted one in and there's still a lot of money, nowhere near Birkin or Kelly prices but it's a really good value bag to get into Hermes bags with but I, it wasn't what I wanted so I didn't get it. Um, anyway, that's it for me and until next time I will say goodbye.